That sharp metallic ping or tapping sound from your engine isn't just annoying, it's a red flag. Engine knock happens when fuel ignites unevenly in the cylinders, creating shock waves that pound on pistons and valves. Left unchecked, what starts as a small sound can spiral into major damage. In fact, AA warns that ignoring detonation can lead to repairs ranging from a few hundred dollars to well over $4,000 if the engine suffers piston or valve failure. In this video, we'll break down 13 real reasons why your engine is knocking, the exact circumstances that cause it, and what you can do to fix it before it destroys your motor. Stay with me until the end because these fixes could save your engine from disaster. Reason one, faulty knock sensor. One of the most common reasons your engine may knock is a faulty knock sensor. This sensor's job is to detect vibrations from detonation and alert the engine control unit, which then adjusts ignition timing to prevent damage. When the sensor fails, the ECU can't make those corrections so knocking continues unchecked. You'll usually notice the knock during acceleration, climbing hills, or under heavy load when pressures inside the cylinder are highest. In many cases, a bad knock sensor will also trigger a check engine light, often with codes like P0325 or P0330. Ignoring it can lead to severe engine damage because detonation is allowed to go on for too long the fix is straightforward. Replace the faulty sensor and clear the error codes. Sensors aren't very expensive, but delaying replacement could cost thousands in piston or valve damage. A quick scan test at a shop can confirm the diagnosis before parts are swapped. Reason two, lean air fuel mixture. Another major cause of engine knock is running a lean air fuel mixture, which means there's too much air and not enough fuel entering the combustion chamber. When this happens, combustion temperatures rise sharply and the fuel ignites unevenly. Those high temperatures and hot spots trigger the sharp pinging or knocking you hear, especially under acceleration or when the engine is under heavy load. A lean condition often comes from clogged or failing fuel injectors, a weak fuel pump, dirty fuel filter, or vacuum leaks that let extra air sneak into the intake. The engine computer may even throw lean mixture codes like P0171 or P0174, confirming the imbalance. The fix is to diagnose and repair the root cause, clean or replace injectors, check for vacuum leaks, and service the fuel pump or filter if needed. Restoring the proper air-fuel ratio not only eliminates knocking, but also protects the engine from long-term heat damage. Reason three, wrong fuel octane. One of the most common reasons for engine knock is using the wrong fuel octane. Octane measures fuel's resistance to early ignition. Regular 87 octane works fine for most cars, but high compression or turbocharged engines require premium fuel, 91 or 93 octane, to prevent premature detonation. When low octane gas is used in these engines, the air fuel mixture ignites too early, creating shock waves that sound like metallic pinging. This usually happens under load, like hard acceleration or climbing hills, when chamber pressures are highest. According to AAA, nearly 16.5 million US drivers use premium unnecessarily each year wasting $2.1 billion. But the bigger danger is using too low an octane, which can cause piston and valve damage, costing thousands to repair. The fix is simple. Always use the grade recommended in your owner's manual or fuel door. If you accidentally use the wrong fuel once, refill with the correct octane quickly and drive gently until you do. Reason four, carbon deposits. Over time, Carbon deposits build up inside the combustion chamber on pistons, valves, and cylinder walls. These hardened layers raise the engine's compression ratio 
and create glowing hot spots that ignite the air fuel mixture before the spark plug fires. The result is uneven combustion, higher cylinder pressures, and that metallic pinging sound we know as knock. Drivers often notice it most during acceleration or when the engine is under strain. Carbon buildup is a natural byproduct of incomplete fuel combustion, but it gets worse if you use low quality gas, skip oil changes, or do a lot of short trips where the engine never fully warms up. According to EPA data, heavy deposits can cut fuel efficiency by as much as 10% and dramatically increase knock risk. The fix starts with prevention. Use top tier fuel with detergents, change oil regularly, and drive long enough to burn off residues. Severe buildup may require professional induction cleaning or even manual removal during engine service. Reason five, ignition timing, too advanced. Ignition timing that's too advanced is another key cause of engine knock. Normally, the spark plug fires just before the piston reaches top dead center, giving the air fuel mixture time to burn smoothly. But if the spark happens too early, combustion pressure peaks while the piston is still rising. The result is a violent clash inside the cylinder that sounds like sharp pinging or knocking especially at higher RPMS or under heavy acceleration. This problem often occurs after incorrect mechanical adjustments, ECU errors, or overly aggressive aftermarket tunes. In some cases, drivers might also notice reduced performance or increased fuel consumption. The fix is to restore timing to factory specifications. Mechanics use scan tools or timing lights to reset ignition precisely or reflash the ECU if a bad tune is to blame. Correct timing keeps combustion controlled, eliminates knock, and protects pistons and valves from unnecessary stress. By now, you can see how small issues can trigger serious engine knock. If you're finding this helpful, hit the like button. It helps more drivers discover these tips. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss the next set of engine saving fixes. Reason six, wrong or worn spark plugs. Using the wrong spark plugs or running on old worn ones can easily trigger engine knock. Spark plugs are designed with specific heat ranges and gaps to match your engine. If the wrong type is installed or if the gap is off, the mixture may ignite unevenly or too soon. Worn plugs can also misfire, leaving unburned fuel that combusts at the wrong time. The result is detonation, which often shows up under acceleration or when the engine is under load. This issue is more common in engines where plugs haven't been replaced at the recommended interval. Drivers may also notice rough idling, sluggish acceleration, or a drop in fuel economy. The fix is straightforward. Always use OEM recommended spark plugs and ensure they're gapped correctly. Replacing them at the proper intervals restores clean, consistent ignition, eliminates knocking, and helps the engine run smoothly and efficiently. Reason seven, failing EGR valve. A failing EGR valve is another reason your engine may knock. The exhaust gas recirculation system lowers combustion temperatures by routing a small amount of exhaust gas back into the intake. When the valve gets clogged with carbon or sticks closed, less exhaust flows in, chamber temperatures rise, and the air fuel mixture ignites too early. That heat spike often leads to knocking, especially at steady cruising speeds or light acceleration. Drivers may also notice rough idling, reduced fuel efficiency, or a check engine light with EGR-related codes. Leaving it unchecked not only increases knock risk, but also raises harmful emissions. The fix is usually simple. Clean the EGR valve and passages to restore flow. If it's too far gone, replacement is inexpensive and ensures proper operation. Restoring the EGR system keeps combustion cooler, reduces knock, and helps your engine run cleaner and more efficiently. 
Reason 8. Low engine oil. Low engine oil doesn't just mean poor lubrication, it also affects cooling inside the engine. Oil helps absorb heat from pistons and bearings, and when levels drop too low, metal surfaces run hotter than they should. These hot spots cause the air fuel mixture to ignite unevenly, producing the knocking sound you hear, especially at higher RPMs or when the engine is under heavy load. Running with low oil for too long can also start bearings, leading to severe wear or even engine seizure. Many drivers overlook this until it's too late, and what could have been a simple top-up turns into a costly rebuild. The fix is as straightforward as prevention. Check your oil regularly, change it at the intervals recommended by your manufacturer, and always use the correct viscosity. Keeping oil fresh and at the proper level ensures smooth operation and eliminates knock caused by overheating parts. Reason 9. Rod Bearing Wear Rod bearing wear causes a very distinct type of knock, often called rod knock. Bearings act as cushions between the piston rods and the crankshaft. When they wear out, the extra clearance allows the rod to slam against the crank each time the piston moves. Unlike detonation knock, this sound is deeper, rhythmic, and gets louder as RPMs rise. Drivers usually notice it under load, like hard acceleration or climbing hills. This isn't just annoying, it's a sign of serious internal damage. Ignoring rod knock can quickly lead to a spun bearing, broken rods, or even catastrophic engine failure. Unfortunately, there's no quick fix once wear has set in. The only solution is mechanical repair, replacing the worn bearings or rebuilding the bottom end of the engine. It's expensive, but catching it early can save the crankshaft and prevent complete engine destruction. Reason 10. Clogged cooling system. A clogged cooling system is another reason your engine may knock. When coolant passages inside the radiator or engine become blocked with rust, scale, or debris, heat can't flow out efficiently. As a result, combustion chambers run hotter than normal, creating hot spots that ignite the air-fuel mixture too early. This detonation often shows up during long drives, heavy traffic, or towing, when the engine is working its hardest. Drivers may notice rising temperature gauges, fluctuating heat levels, or visible coolant discoloration. Left unchecked, overheating accelerates wear on pistons, valves, and gaskets, and the repeated knocking only adds more stress. The fix is to flush the cooling system, replace a clogged radiator, and check hoses or the thermostat for blockages. Keeping coolant fresh and the system clear ensures proper heat transfer, reduces knock, and keeps the engine running at its safest operating temperature. Reason 11. Low quality or contaminated fuel. Low quality or contaminated fuel is a sneaky cause of engine knock. Gasoline that's watered down, old, or mixed with impurities doesn't burn evenly, and this uneven combustion creates hot spots that trigger detonation. Knocking from bad fuel often appears right after filling up, especially if the gas came from a poorly maintained station or one with low fuel turnover. In severe cases, contaminated fuel can also clog injectors and reduce overall performance. The symptoms include rough idling, hesitation on acceleration, and that telltale pinging sound when the engine is under load. If ignored, it can damage pistons, valves, and even the catalytic converter. The fix is to drain the tank and refill with clean, high-quality fuel from a trusted station. Using top-tier gasoline with detergents helps prevent future problems, while occasional use of fuel system cleaners keeps the injectors and combustion chambers running smoothly. Reason 12. High Engine Temperatures Excessive engine heat is a major trigger for knocking. When temperatures climb too high, combustion chambers develop hot spots that ignite the air-fuel mixture prematurely. This early ignition creates the metallic pinging sound you hear, 
especially during long uphill drives, towing, or stop-and-go traffic where the cooling system is under stress. High engine temperatures are usually caused by low coolant levels, a faulty thermostat, a weak water pump, or a clogged radiator. Even something as simple as a broken cooling fan can make the engine run hotter than designed. Overheating not only increases the risk of knock, but also accelerates wear on pistons, valves, and head gaskets. The fix is to restore proper cooling, check coolant levels, flush the radiator, replace a bad thermostat, or repair the water pump. Keeping the system healthy ensures stable temperatures, prevents detonation, and extends overall engine life. Reason 13. Aggressive or faulty ECU programming. The last reason your engine may knock comes down to aggressive or faulty ECU programming. The engine control unit manages ignition timing and fuel delivery, but if the system is tuned too aggressively, often in performance remaps, it can push the engine beyond safe limits. Advancing the timing too far or running leaner fuel maps makes combustion happen earlier and hotter than it should, which creates that metallic pinging you recognize as knock. This problem shows up most under hard acceleration or high RPMS when the engine is under maximum stress. In factory tuned cars, ECU corruption or sensor misreads can cause the same issue confusing the computer into unsafe timing adjustments. The fix is to reflash the ECU with the proper factory software or a safe performance tune from a reputable source. Restoring balanced ignition timing and fuel delivery ensures smooth combustion, eliminates knocking, and protects the engine from long-term damage. And there you have it. 13 real reasons your engine might be knocking and what you can do about each one. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below to share your own experience with engine knock. Before you go, check out my video on blown head gasket symptoms. It could save you from a costly repair.